remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I don't know what we're going to do about these educators, but we got to do something to save the children before it's too late. I don't usually start off the show with a question, but I have a burning one for your family. What would you do if you had a seven-year-old son whose teacher shoved his head into a wall causing him to lose a tooth and injure his lip. It happened in Riviera, Florida family. Yeah, Florida again. 64-year-old Cynthia Smith, a teacher at Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune Elementary School, was arrested Friday on a charge of child abuse. The school's principal, Katrina Granger, had contacted school district police the day before upon learning of the incident according to an arrest report. An officer interviewed in the report says Smith claimed in a written statement that the students were pushing one another and that one of them was pushed into the wall. But Palm Beach County School District Police said the surveillance camera showed a different story. It showed the boy standing near a billboard moving his hand when the teacher shoved him face first into the wall. Police said the principal told them the teacher had worked at the school for 12 years and she had been investigated on at least four other occasions. It wasn't clear what it was for. She posted a $3,000 surety bond Friday afternoon and was released from the county jail. The school says that she has been reassigned as they reassign all staff members when they're under investigation. Moving on to high learning, the principal at Jackson State University was arrested for solicitation of prostitution. William Bynum Jr., 57 years old, was one of 17 people busted in an undercover prostitution sting, according to Clinton Police Chief Ford Heyman. Bynum Jr. resigned as the head of Jackson State University on Monday. The suspects were caught at a hotel in the town of Clinton after being directed there from an online prostitute ad. When busted, Bynum Jr. allegedly gave cops a fake name. He was charged with procuring services of a prostitute, false statement of identity, and simple possession of marijuana. 46-year-old Shonda McCarthy, another Jackson State University employee, was also arrested in the sting. McCarthy, the school's art galleries director, was charged with procuring services of a prostitute and possession of marijuana while operating a motor vehicle. But there's more. Bynum is described as a God-loving, God-fearing man on the university's website. He's going to need all of God's mercy when his wife finds out. And his six kids. Let us pray. And we'll talk. What the talking about? Yeah.